Hi everyone, it's Miss 17 February. So I know it's been like a month since I posted anything and I'm extremely extremely sorry. It's been really really busy. Um finishing up my first year of college. Quite a ride. <laughs> but anyways, um today I'm going to be doing the Q&A video. Uh, I asked you guys to ask me some questions on that one video and so yeah today I just kind of like I'm gonna look at them and uh, pretty much answer your questions yeah all right so I'm gonna start off with the most commonly asked questions are you Korean um no I'm not <laughs> and then next up it will be what is your ethnicity or uh, slash nationality um, ethnicity wise I am Vietnamese and part Australian uh, when I say Australian um, I don't mean that I'm like from Australia it's more like I guess a more proper way to say it's like Caucasian Australian or European Australian um, I'm only a quarter my mom's a halfy and that's why um, some of you have mentioned that sometimes I look kind of like white <laughs> so to say Nationality wise, I have an American citizenship, so that will make me um, like an Asian American. Alright, the next question is, can you dance? No, I cannot, but I am extremely jealous and envious of those who can. Um, dancing has just been one of those things where I've always been like, whoa, that's so cool how you can move your body like that. And it's like something I would want to learn. I mean, I've tried, you know, before, like, dance in my room and, like, I record to see how it looks like and it's bad. It, yeah, let's not even... <laughs> it's bad. But one day, I really, um, hope to learn how to dance, uh, especially like, dancing hip-hop. That would be something pretty cool. What are your favorite K-pop groups slash idols? Right off the bat, I'd say Big Bang. They were, like, the first K-pop group that I found and I got into. And after Big Bang, I also like 21, um, Tableau, oh, Lee Hyori. I haven't been really up to date with the K-pop stuff, so I don't really know about all the new groups that have debuted and all that stuff, but um, those are probably my top ones. What are your favorite songs? My favorite songs usually change quite a bit. All-time favorites though, um, I like Irma's um, River Flows in You. Uh, Clams, Casinos, I'm God. Um, hmm, let's see what else. Lana Del Rey's I'm Without You. And what is your top 10 K drama list? Hmm, top 10, that's, that's quite a bit. I don't know if I can list out all 10, but I do have some favorites um, like Secret Garden, Rooftop Prince. Um, Princess Hours, um, Tree of Heaven, Faith, Boys Are Flowers, uh, Bad Guy, and those are just the ones from the top of my head. How tall are you? I am 5 feet and 5 inches. How old are you? I am turning 20 this year and uh, that means I'm turning 21 next year. You guys know what that means, right? Just kidding, guys. Are you monolid or double lid? Well, I'm monolid most of the time. And what I mean by that is that my eye is, my eyes are kind of weird. Um, my left eye, I would say is like stronger than my right eye because that eye usually um, folds up into a double, like randomly sometimes. I guess to answer the question, I'm monolid. Like definitely born monolid, just my eyes are a little bit funky. And it, sometimes it looks like it's double when it's really not. What are you studying to be? I know that I want to enter the medical field. I'm debating on either pharmacy school or med school, but I'm really intimidated by like the medical schools. I think it's kind of obvious that going to med school is like a big deal, and it's difficult to like to get in. It's um, competitive. I guess I'm kind of lacking confident. But um, I'm going to work hard and hopefully it'll change my mind. But as of right now, that's where I'm kind of heading towards. What camera do you use? I use the Canon Rebel um, T3i. Why don't you get your teeth fixed? 
I think the most simple answer is that braces are expensive. Uh, I'm a college student. My first year in college and I had to take out a bunch of loans. I'm pretty much already in like major debt my first year. So braces cost like what, five to six K depending on the situation of the patient. And for me, I feel like, yeah, sure. I would love to get braces. I would love to get my teeth fixed. I get really embarrassed about my teeth sometimes. Um, that's why I try not to smile so much with my teeth and I try to cover my mouth when I laugh and things like that because it makes me feel really self-conscious. So I would love to like get it fixed so I wouldn't you know, feel that way anymore. But with my current situation, I feel like that can wait. Five, 10 years from now, I can still get braces. I mean, it'll take a bit longer for my teeth to you know, straighten up, but it's, it's possible. I mean, I can still do it. Um, it's not something that I feel like I need to do right now um, because I feel like it's more of a want than a need. You know, when I am capable of getting braces on my own to pay for braces, and sure, I'll get it, but at the moment, you know, it can wait. Where are you currently living? Um, right now, I'm living in Southern California um, for college. Um, what got you into makeup? I remember stumbling on a makeup tutorial on YouTube back when I was in like the seventh grade and um, I think that's when it really started when I found the beauty community on the internet and on YouTube the whole um, beauty blogging and like beauty tutorials and videos and that's really when I got into it. How did you start blogging? After I discovered the beauty community on the internet I felt like it would be fun to do it um, since you know I was only like I think I was in either middle school or, or high school like my freshman year or something when I started blogging and it was just like a hobby it was fun to you know do all these things or reviews and things like that and that's kind of like how I started with all of that um, did you have any inspiration in starting it? my main reason for starting a beauty blog was not just because it was fun or that I needed a hobby but because I really wanted to offer like helpful reviews or just like helpful tutorials for people who came across my blog. And that's still how I feel today. The reason why I do YouTube and I blog is just share what I know to you guys and hopefully it's you know helpful in some way, shape or form. What was the most difficult part of being a new beauty blogger when you first started? Um, I would have to say the most difficult part was figuring out what was the best method of presenting the information so that it would be clean, organized, and helpful. Um, I think the most important thing is investing in a good camera. Obviously when you first start out you don't have to go like super crazy and buy like a pro camera, but just like a good point and shoot or if your phone camera has a really good quality, like the iPhone cameras are pretty good. And um, I feel like a lot of reviews from blogs that I read, from people who just kind of started um, writing reviews and stuff. The reviews are very vague um, and I feel like for me personally when I'm looking for a review, I like those in-depth reviews and how the product works, how it affects the skin, or if it's makeup wise, like how it fades, how it stays on, things like that. Not just like, oh yeah, I like this product, go buy it. Or I don't like this product, don't buy it. Things like that. Um, any advice for those who are starting out? Mm, advice wise, kind of like what I said before, um, you know, knowing how you're going to present your information, your blog material, um, having a good camera, and also, you know, for blogging, it's you, you might occasionally get some haters or people who are just kind of mean. I feel like you don't really get that much of um, those mean comments on like the blogosphere, but on YouTube is a little bit different. My biggest advice before starting your own YouTube channel is that you have to be prepared um, because you know people are mean people leave a lot of mean comments and they don't even know you and they just kind of judge you based on what they see in your videos and sometimes it's like what the heck you know why do you you know say those things and everyone handles like criticism and uh, hateful comments differently and for me before I started YouTube I told myself if I ever got any hate comments, I was not going to care. I spent a long time preparing myself um, mentally and emotionally 
before I decided to pick up the camera and film myself and post that first video on my YouTube channel. I mean, the, the hateful comments, you know, it might make you sad, it might make you angry, but at the end of the day, I just, you know, realized that these people don't know you. For me, constructive criticism is, like, welcome. Um, as long as you don't bash me and, you know, it doesn't come off rude, then I am, like, more than happy to read your comments and take into consideration. Uh, but just some people out there, like, they make these comments are just like, what the freak are you saying? If you're someone who gets hurt easily and, um, you know, what people say about you affects you a lot, I would probably say, you know, don't put yourself out there. You have to realize that when you, you post a video on YouTube, like, people from everywhere see you and you have to really be prepared for it. I think that's, like, the most important part because once you're prepared emotionally, mentally, that you're not gonna care, you're not gonna take it into heart, um, then once you get those mean comments, it doesn't really hurt. Um, for me, I mean, when I get rude and mean comments, like, there are a couple of times where I'd kind of be like, what the heck, like, I get kind of angry, but it's like, for a split 10 seconds, and I'm like, huh, I start laughing about it, it's like, it's, it's humorous to me. And, um, I mean, I think some of you guys might have read some of my, like, replies to people who have left me rude comments and I'm pretty sarcastic about it and um, that's just for me that's how I kind of go with it I, I feel like there's really no need for me to um, attack them back you know I wouldn't usually ignore the rude comments but if I get something that's really like what the heck I, I usually come back with something a little bit like humorous sarcastic uh, whichever um, but yeah that's just how I handle things and I think, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that, I think. I feel like I'm just rambling on. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, ha. Um, can you speak Vietnamese? Yes, I can. Chào các bạn. Mình tên là Thúy. Thúy muốn cảm ơn các bạn đã coi mấy cái video của Thúy. And uh, Thúy mong là các bạn sẽ uh, tiếp tục ủng hộ Thúy. And uh, yeah. Các bạn xin lỗi. Tiếng Việt của Thúy cũng không có gạch lắm. But yeah, <laughs> tell us more about yourself. Um, I feel that question is really hard to answer because there's like so much you can say, but then nothing comes to mind. So I think I'll start off with like the basics. My name is Tui. Uh, in Vietnamese, it's pronounced Tui. And uh, currently, I am attending the University of California, Irvine. I love to eat. I loved going out to try new foods, um, new desserts. I'm a big, big fan of just like bakeries and cafes. I just love the ambience and pastries. I also really, 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 really like milk teas and boba, Thai tea, like just those tea drinks. They sell around campus, like the clubs sell for fundraisers. If you go to UCI or you've been on UCI campus during the day, you know that when you walk around Ring Road, you're gonna hear $2 boba, and uh, that's where you're gonna find me, buying $2 boba. Um, my boyfriend's name is Simon. I've been with him for over six years now. A big chunk of that actually was long distance. It wasn't until this year that we actually got to like be together together, but uh, more on that another time, maybe, if you guys are curious. <laughs> I'm from a family of seven. Uh, I live with my mom, my dad, um, me, my brother, and our three dogs. I have a boy, golden retriever, named Sammy. And then I have a girl, um, German Shepherd slash Beagle Mixed, named Layla. And then we also have a um, small Chihuahua slash Pomeranian Mixed doggy named... Uh, Sophie, and uh, she's my mom's favorite because she's small. <laughs> Personality-wise, I'm pretty quiet in real life. I consider myself more of an introvert than an extrovert. I'm pretty shy with people I don't know, but like once you get to know me, uh, I'm pretty crazy. <laughs> Last question is, can you play that guitar for us? Well, I think I'm gonna take it a little one step further, and uh, I'm also gonna sing for you guys. I do want to apologize ahead of time if the guitar sounds a little bit off. For those who play a string instrument, you guys know that long nails and string instruments do not go together. I've seen the world, done it all, had my 
my cake now Diamonds Early In Bel Now Hot summer nights In July When you and I Were forever wild The crazy days Shitty lights The way you play for me like a child Will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful Will you still love me when I find nothing but my aching soul I know you will I know you will I know that you will Will you still I'm no longer beautiful. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them down below and possibly I can make another Q&A video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!